Set a rose. mom's house hope you guys are all having an amazing day i'm realizing this is the beginning of the vlog noah's over here we're hanging out i am getting ready to go to halloween horror nights so i'm gonna throw some makeup on <laughs> this is what i look like super cute and i'm just going simple i'm gonna put like a beanie on and like a this leopard cozy jacket i got from target that i really like careful love super excited mommy joy's gonna hang out with you and watch you uh, i figured i would do uh, is this hold on <laughs> snow put uh, fingerprints on this screen. So I'm gonna need to, you can't have that. Here, clean it and I'll be right back. I tried cleaning it, but it might not be the screen. It might just be that my lens is messed up and I need to get a new camera. Wow, you just wanna play with everything. Here, let's play with this. This is not a choking hazard. There we go. Let's get ready. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I use to get ready, kind of like a little get ready with me. It's gonna be very amateur status. I'm just gonna show you what I'm using and how I normally do my makeup. This is like my kind of go-to look. This is Well People. It's actually like a tinted moisturizer, but this is got some serious full coverage because I have really bad rosacea, which if you don't know what that means, um, it just means my face is like really red naturally. It covers that. It does a really good job. Also, I have really oily skin. So if I'm wearing makeup for a long period of time, my face will get really oily. This stuff sets and when it kind of dries down, it does not get oily. It's the one foundation I found that doesn't get oily at all. Here, baby, why don't you play with this? The downside to it is that if you do like a lot of contouring or powders on top, like it kind of sticks to it. So I kind of put bronzer, like a light bronzer all over my face and I'll show you which one I use. Um, but that is from Target and I'll try to list everything down below. So um, Benefit has, as far as you know, two bronzers. They have the Hula Light and then they have like their regular one. The Hula Light is the one I use. I'm really fair skinned. So I use this even if I, if I tan, if I get really dark, I'll use the darker one. But I kind of just put this all over my face and I'm going to show you how do I use like this big old brush that hasn't been washed in forever. Hashtag real life. Um, and I also need to get another one of these because... As you could see, I've totally hit pan. That's so gross. Do you want to do some bronzer? That's dirty, hey. baby. You don't want to touch that. Um, so I just get as much of it as I can. And then I literally go like this. And this kind of helps to set the foundation. Um, I'm actually going really... Oh my God, she just stood up on her own. I'm going really out of order because I'm really distracted with snow right now. Yay! Look who's here! <gasps> snow bear? It's Aunt Brit Brit! Look how excited she gets when when she Hi, sees her aunt! Angel! <laughs> Hi! I missed you! Go say hi to Aunt Brit Brit! I missed you, Angel! Hi! 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 Oh, she's so happy to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me, mom's trying to do her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> she so loves you. Wow. Hey. Oh. Hi, baby. And I just go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and as you can see, I just put it like on my eyelids, a little bit underneath, and then in here, these inner corners, because I have like these bluish, greenish oh. veins. So I try to like cover that a little bit. On. Yeah. Are you standing on your own? <laughs> and then I just take my um, sponge and kind of just blend that out. Wow, baby. Wow. And then I will set that eye stuff with, this is really funny actually that my sister's here. Do you remember when we went to Sephora and you're like, oh, ask for samples? This yeah. is, I still use this sample. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So just like any beige or, uh, again, dirty brush. And then I just um, go over it like this to set that in. So when you put like, whenever I put like eyeshadow, it doesn't like, um, it like blends better if that makes sense. I don't actually put powder yeah. underneath my eyes cause I um, haven't gotten Botox in a long time. And cause I'm older, I get like those crow's feet and it just, anytime I put makeup on, it makes it look, look so much older. A lot of people that have like more mature skin won't put makeup here, but I, I do anyways. I just won't set it cause then it'll make it more like make me look even older. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing to the whoa. I know. To the other side. Oh, see, I don't have any toys, and these look like toys. Yes, they do. You wanna go see Uncle Jason? <gasps> Let's go see Uncle Jason. Thanks, Britt. Let's go see Uncle Jason. And I put enough powder on until um, it feels like smooth. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't feel sticky anymore from the concealer. Uh, so that's kind of how I know like I have enough on. Um, and then I will do my brows. And for brows, I just use the um, Cabrow in number two. But I do not use this because it's way too hard for me to do it and I don't have the patience for that. Um, I'm also not like, you know, a professional makeup artist and I just, you know, do my own thing. So I just use this brush. It's just like a random brush. It's just bigger so it's easier for me to do it. Get a bunch on my brush. Go underneath and I just follow like that line. Whoops. And my, my makeup is like far from perfect. I don't like, I don't know. I'm just not into like the perfect makeup look. I like it to be like a little bit messy. I always make a joke like my makeup is like my life messy. Um, I'm just going to fill it in. People that are like good at makeup are probably like cringing so hard when they watch me do my makeup and then that's it. Like that's how fast most people like takes their brows take forever. That's how long it takes me to do my brow. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, so yeah. If I'm trying harder or like, you know, I'm gonna take like a makeup picture or something, like obviously I'll do my makeup very different. Um, I do like a lot less. Um, what is it called? Like towards the end, I'll do a little bit like softer and in the beginning, I'll go a little bit softer just cause it makes it look more natural. But for like, if I don't really care, I'm just like going to like an amusement park where it's gonna be like super dark. Like, I don't care, you know? So yeah, those are brows. Brows are done now. We're gonna move on to the next step. This palette does not exist anymore. You cannot buy it unless you already have it. I'm really sorry. It's like done. Um, but this is my next step. I go in with gratitude. And I'm sure you have similar colors somewhere. Um, just like a dark brown shade. And then I go on the lower lid and very messily just like throw that on. And then afterwards we will blend it out. But for the most part, I just want to get that like dark color on the bottom same to the other side this is like the most amateur way to like do a get ready with me I've never done a get ready with me like this before <laughs> I normally like have this like awesome setup, but okay next I'm gonna go in with this like fluffier brush like a blending crease brush I don't even know what they call it. I haven't done like a tutorial in so long um, And then it's gonna take this in the crease and then blend out like everything up, like blend it up and out If that makes sense at all And this is like a look that like literally I always do this like same look. It's kind of like my signature look. It might be a little dark for most people, but for me, I think like it just suits me the best, like as far as like makeup looks that I personally like. Um, so yeah, I like doing this. Hey, Mama. Hi. Thank you. That was nice. Um, how's everything going? Fine, Brit's got her, and Chow's trying to do that. So then I'll just I'll dip into positivity and gratitude and kind of mix those together, tap off the excess, and then I go underneath my lower. Hopefully this is you can kind of see this. I go under my lower lash line and then I just blend, blend, blend. And when I'm blending, I kind of go down a little bit with the product, um, so it looks like that. I hope that makes sense. Dipping in some more. Really the other eye. And I always start at the middle. Well, I try to. 
and then work my way to both sides and then I go up a little bit on the ends so that there's not like a break you know and then I know a lot of people spend like 12 hours blending I, I don't you guys I just kind of just blend it out till like I think it's like okay that's good <laughs> okay that's good you know um and then like I said uh normally this is the part where I will go in with um oh this is the darker bronzer I don't normally use that one I do the this smells so good too oh this benefit bronzer is like my favorite so this is how I do my bronzer um this is not like contouring this is me just kind of trying to get that um foundation to like not be so sticky on my face because it is really sticky and then I'll just go over um I just like I see all like the like makeup gurus being like ah what is she doing when I do my makeup because I literally just go like this you know how like people contour their nose like all perfect I don't I stop doing that because I'm too lazy so I just like go over like this on my nose so like wherever the sun would naturally hit I go up in my hairline and I just keep getting product and adding it onto my face whenever I feel like it runs out I put it all freaking over tan that face girl woo, woo, woo. um I can't really see the lighting, not very good here, but <laughs> hopefully that looks okay. Um, okay, next up, uh, I don't really use a lot of blush um, because, like I said, I have a really bad rosacea. So I feel like my face is red all the time. But if I do, I'll use a little bit of this tart um, in a coyote. I don't know how I pronounce it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, okay, this is the new mascara I've been using. It's the Lash Paradise um, Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. Uh, it's good stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna throw on lashes and I'm going to do my lips and then we're gonna be done. It's like a super easy, um, super easy makeup look. Oh, it's the mirror that I was seeing that, uh, <laughs> I was doing my thing. Okay, I need to go grab my lashes. They're upstairs in the bathroom beer. Okay, next step was I just threw on some lashes. I would love to be able to get eyelash extensions again. They were like my jam. I was obsessed with them because I literally have like no eyelashes. They're blonde and short and straight. Um, so for me, I don't need to like curl my lashes or anything before I put um, strip lashes on. But the only reason I wear strip lashes is because I am allergic to the glue uh, that they use to put the lashes, the eyelash extensions on. And I waited like a whole year before trying to get them again and I had an even worse reaction. So unfortunately I can't get them and it really sucks. But so yeah, put some strip lashes on and then I'm going to use, um, this is like drugstore. It's prestige, but they don't sell it in the drugstore anymore. Hold on, you can't even see it. Um, so I have to order on Amazon and so I'll try to link all this stuff down below, but I'm going to basically put this like above like on top of where I just put the strip lashes to kind of blend it and then open my eye a little bit and then I'm also going to sorry if this whole video is so blurry um put this underneath like in my lower lash line and then drag it underneath and kind of smudge it out so it kind of is like rocker like rock and roll I don't know how you would like describe this makeup look but I'm um, kind of like grungy I think like I think is the proper word so yeah so for underneath I kind of just I hope you guys can see this I kind of go in the lash line and just like like so and then I take like my ring finger and then I lightly smudge it out um, and the heat of my finger is what's like helping smudge it I'm really kind of just like tapping because uh, I don't want to pull the product off um, and then I always just have like a washcloth and I wipe my, I wipe whatever's on my finger. And then I do it again to the other side. Smudge that ish out. And if you smudge too much, you can always add more and then, you know, go back in. Wipe and then for the top, I wanna make sure my lashes are like totally dry from the glue. And then I'll just go over top and in the inner corner a little bit there and then I'll do my lips and show you what it looks like when it's all done. I forgot a step. I um, will go in once my lashes are on and just kind of like 
put a little bit to where I can see my little blonde lashes to blend them in with the false lashes. Um, and then I'll go ahead and like cake on the lower lashes because I don't have any. So um, I want to try to build it up. So that's what I do with this mascara. And I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now to finish my look, I'm literally going to just use lip liner and chapstick. And I will, I threw on a beanie. Uh, so I take the lip liner. And then I kind of go in with it and like use it as lipstick. Mm. Then again, I will either take my finger and with the heat kind of press and blend it out. And then I will take my chapstick. Normally I'll use something different than chapstick. Um, like I'll either do chapstick or um, so that it looks like this, or if I want it to be a little bit more shiny and I want my lips to look bigger for whatever reason, I will use this um, Emile Cordon. Um, this is in Moroccan Mint, but I have them in like almost every flip. This stuff is amazing, by the way. Um, take a little bit of that. And I will, so let me just show you how this works. See, I just put chapstick. Um, if I use this. My fingers are so dirty. Like there's like dirt underneath my fingernails. Don't look, it's so gross. Um, but you'll see like it makes it more shiny and then the light hitting it like reflects off of it and kind of like gives these pops of light and it just it makes your lips appear even bigger. Um, so yeah, this is the look, the makeup look, like my go-to makeup look, I guess. And a lot of times, like after my lower lash, uh, my lower lashes, you can't even see them. That's how non-existent they are. Uh, like dry, the mascara dries. I'll go into a few more layers of this just to try to like make them more apparent <laughs> since they're not there uh, and they're invisible. So yeah, uh, I will show you when I'm completely done what it looks like. Bring a fanny pack with me and I think like most people will bring up like, like touch up makeup. I never do, I probably should, but I don't. Um, so I'm really just gonna bring chapstick, lip liner, and this just to touch up if I even have time. Most of the time I don't, I just don't care, but. So this is the final look, my signature go-to makeup look. I hope that you guys liked this. Um, if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know. Uh, Cause I could do like other fun looks, like more natural looks, whatever you guys want. Um, but yeah, mm, hope you enjoyed this video. Sending you all my love and positive energy. I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!